Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Maryland Darling Show. Today I'm going to teach you how to get awesome calligraphy using bubbles. I know it sounds crazy, but when I tell you that with my Jinhao X450 and a Zebra G nib, you can almost do this to almost any ink. All you're going to need is an ink, a separate vial, or you can use a cartridge, uh, a converter, uh, a, a blunt tip syringe, some water, and some soap. You're going to need probably palm olive works really good, something with good amount of suds. And you know what I'm talking about. Good bubbleage, you know. Something that's going to make bubbles hold on to their water. Now, the way that capillary action works is water gets attached to itself and it, you know, it, it, it's too sticky sometimes. And you get railroading. And if you don't want to get railroading, when you're using your Zebra G nib, what you need to do is you need to create bubbles between the tines. <clears throat> How do we make bubbles? Well, it has to be not sticky enough that the bubble breaks, and also heavy enough that the bubble goes all the way down to the, the tine ends the tip of the tines. So, I figured it out. You can get crazy huge line variation <clears throat> by using soap. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna go over to your sink and <clears throat> you're gonna bring your syringe and you're going to take a little Dixie cup, fill it with water, well, put a, a pump of soap, where, where are you at? Put a pump of soap in your water, okay, like that, not too much, and then fill the cup up with water, doesn't matter if there's soap in there or not. So, but then what you're going to do is you're going to fill your cartridge converter about halfway with ink. Halfway, only about halfway, okay? And then you're gonna take your syringe and you're gonna soak up about half, about, you know, a little bit of ink, a little bit of water with soap in your ink. And then you're gonna insert it into your cartridge converter and then put it back back in your pen <clears throat> and then you know twist the cartridge converter so that way it gets all the way down into the to the bottom of the, the nib and then you get crazy line variation <laughs> look how hard that is Look at it. My, my feet is scraping the paper. That's almost three millimeters across. <clears throat> I mean... Okay, we'll call it a good two millimeters across. But that's crazy. So, I would, but this is spring steel, it is going to, it is going to rust, so, I mean, it won't last very long if you use it in this nib, but, you know, if you buy, like, a 10 cent on Amazon or um, any of those websites, you know, you can go through 
them and see if they work for you. This is a Gen Hao X450. I tried to put it in my X750, but the grip section was too slippery, and it didn't have the little lip here at the end. So, I wish I could find a good sticky grip section. So that way I didn't have to, um, you know, move my fingers all the way down or sometimes even touch the nib. At any rate, there should be some sort of border to push down. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope that that was helpful to some of you. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.